this is a little appendix to uh, my upgrading Splunk. Um, one of the one of the questions was, how do I migrate from a uh, Windows version to a Linux version or a Linux version to a Windows version? And I'm I'm going to tell you my simplest method for doing it, and I'm also going to give you my general rule of thumb. As a general rule, if you have a standalone instance of Splunk, run it on Windows, run it on Linux, doesn't really matter. There's there's pros and cons. Linux, as a general rule, runs a little faster. It's meant to handle it better. But in some ways, administration is actually easier. If you're a Windows admin, administering a Splunk Enterprise instance on Windows is really really easy. So I mean, I wouldn't tell, I wouldn't condemn you for doing it either way. But as you start to get into indexer, uh, indexer clusters and things like that, some of those capabilities are only available in Linux. And so uh, there's a reason to move to Linux. And if you need to migrate, and maybe you decide, you know what, I don't want to do Linux anymore. I want to move to Windows. Or you, uh, you want to move your Windows stuff from Linux, uh, I'm going to show you a little trick. Um, I actually have a Windows box, and often I'll develop there. And then I also have a Linux box, and I'll develop there. And one of the keys is to realize that Splunk really runs on apps. And these things, these apps, are what make Splunk run. It's what makes Splunk do what Splunk does. The underlying um, uh, enterprise, there is some differences, but what uh, user experiences is all being handled here in these apps. So, and when you go to Splunk Base, you'll notice that you don't download an app for a Windows box and download an app for a Linux box. As a general rule, there's some minor exceptions, but uh, the don't let the exceptions be the rule. You download an app, and it's just a bundled up bunch of config files. And so if you want to be able to move from a Linux environment to a Windows or a Windows environment to a Linux, all you need to do, let's get this cleaned up here. You're going to want to go to your Splunk instance and go to op Splunk Etsy if you're on Linux. If you're on Windows, you're going to go program file, uh, C colon, program files, Splunk. Um, I mean, you'll see it all the time in reference. They'll call it the Splunk home but whatever that is in my case being linux it's op splunk uh, you'll go etsy apps and right there is the listing of all of your apps these are the things you want to make sure you migrate over um, now some of these are built in apps for Splunk. Like for example, I don't need to carry over the search app. It's already there. Sample app is something that's already there. Um, alert log event, alert alert webhook, apps browser. Easiest thing to do is set up your brand new instance of Splunk that you're gonna migrate to and look at the apps that are missing. Those are the apps you can copy and paste and move over. So you just put them on a thumb drive, copy them over through the network, whatever the case may be, copy these files over, and they will just start working on your new Windows box or your new Linux box. I hope that helps. I hope this takes you, helps you on your journey from being a lame analyst to a uh, Splunk Ninja. Uh, if you like this, give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate it. I always take comments and questions down below. If you ask for a request for a video, I will uh, do my best to try to make that happen. Anyway, I hope you'll continue to follow the channel and uh, keep watching my videos. Thanks so much.